In this video, we are going to talk about how you can add additional buttons on the course template on your homepage. By default, your course template includes these four buttons at the top and 15 module buttons at the bottom. If you have a need to add an additional button, please navigate to the modules and locate the instructor module. Locate the page on how to enhance template graphics. From this page, we are going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and as you can see we have a table with buttons and customization links. There is a link for each of the buttons and there is an additional button that has been made available to you as well as the home page buttons in gray, maroon, and yellow. Let's start customizing an additional button with this extra help button. We're going to be asked to make a copy. From this Google drawing file we are going to replace the text. I can just highlight that text and give it a name that makes sense for my course. In this case, I am going to call it Frequently Asked Questions. And I am also going to name this file. So instead of copy of extra help blank, I am going to call it Frequently Asked Questions. Press Enter to save. Now I'm going to download these through the file. And all these buttons are pictures. And I can download a JPEG image file. And as you can see, that gets downloaded locally into my computer. Now I go back into canvas navigate back into your home page and click on edit i can resize this window and have your mouse pointer placed in the area where you would like the button to be you can use your arrow keys as well and from my rich content editor tools right at the top i'm going to use the images upload image here it is in my downloads folder this is a time for me to add an alternative text remember these buttons should be all of your images images should be accessible so screen readers can read these buttons. So you can call it frequently ask questions button. We click submit and now the bottom we click save and we're going to see how that button has been added. Now we notice that discrepancy that this new button that we added doesn't match the size of the original four buttons. So let's fix that. Let's go back into edit and let's make sure that all our buttons have the same size. Select each button then we click image options on this flyout menu that opens on the right hand side. We notice that we get size options. Let's choose one that works for us. We we can decide whether small or medium is a better size or the number of buttons that we want. Since I'm adding only one button, maybe syllabus is too big and I want to make it small size. Just click on every button, click on image options, under the size, I choose small, click done, and you can see how I am slowly matching the sizes on all my buttons and I'm choosing small for each one of this. Finally, the one button that we added that was new, like small, and there it is. And now we can see all the buttons have the exact same size. Let's talk about how you can replace the buttons on the course homepage. Perhaps you don't want them to be called module 1 through 15. By default, you have the choices uh, between module and weeks. Let's see how you can give it different names. We navigate back into the modules and we locate the page inside the instructor module, how to enhance template graphics. Navigate again back to the bottom of this page and you have gray, maroon, and yellow options. Let's use one button that will stand out for me. Let's do maroon. When I click on that link, it opens in another browser tab. I'm asked to make a copy of this file, highlight, and I can change the name of this button. So let's say I want it to be called chapter one. It matches what I do in my course. So we can change it for that. Let's also replace the name of the file. So instead of copy of maroon blank, we can call this chapter one button. And press enter and that gets saved. Uh, we can click on file. We are going to download this as a JPEG image. Gets downloaded locally into my downloads folder. Navigate back to canvas and the home page. We are going to edit the home page. Resize this window. Scroll down. We can highlight that button and now we can 
navigate at the top from my rich content editor tools we can click on upload image upload image again here it is chapter one button this is a chance for you to add alternative text as well you can call it the same thing chapter one button click submit other button gets added and we can start replacing now i don't need that module one button i can highlight it press your delete key and it gets replaced and you can do the same things for your additional buttons that you are going to name chapter one two and so on and so forth this concludes our video on how to add additional buttons in your course homepage using the template